Bring Color to Life is basically a celebration of color. Color being a metaphor for the inks and the great quality prints that the Canon Pixma produces. Canon's briefing to Denser London was the request to reinvigorate the Canon Pixma brand um, in a time where most photography and, and image sharing uh, takes place digitally. Visually this film is sound sculptures created from paint using sound frequencies to organically design these formations, these sculptures. Because we're shooting in macro at such high speed, these sculptures become something else, something you've never really seen before. The amount of depth of field that we have is less than a millimetre of actual sharpness. And if you've got this thing that's four or five feet in diameter, the technical challenge of getting that correct is massive, <laughs> enormous. I have a huge range of colour combinations that I choose from. You know, you, every time you multiply up on the colours, you magnify the number of colours exponentially almost. So that's why you can then end up with generating figures that have hundreds of shades of every colour you can imagine. And this rig, uh, which looked very similar to a time machine or something from NASA, as we're shooting at 5,400 frames a second, the revolution on the rotating platform had to be ridiculously fast to get a sense of movement. The way it works is that we wrap a membrane around a small speaker, we place paint on top of the membrane, we put some sound through the speaker, which goes through the membrane, which hits the, the paint and basically makes the paint jump up. I like the abstract nature of it, you don't really have a particular scale but it doesn't seem to be part of our real world. And then within a certain moment, we capture it, and we got some beautiful imagery.